sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. It's the Jason Matheson Show. There's gonna be trouble. He's a fabulous boy prodigy. He's the most amazing of all the chimp acts that have ever come to show business. Sportos, motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, waste toys, dweebies, they all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Jason Matheson. Talk amongst yourselves. Let's hear it for the boy. Let's give the boy a hand. I do have that in my iPod, and when I'm working out and I don't want to work out, which is every day, <laughs> which is funny who we're getting ready to talk to, but anyway, just kidding. Uh, I love no, working out. It's the best thing ever. Sure. Next to eating cheese curds. But uh, <laughs> but I do have that. Uh, I have Katie, that little thing on uh, on my iPod, so when I start to feel like I'm going to die on the road, uh, you know, jogging, I, I play Katie, and then she picks me up. Then I'm like, okay, Katie says she loves me, and she wants me to bring home bread. I can keep running. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we got to stay hot for Katie. We got to stay hot for Katie. Yeah. Uh, so, and the the person that uh, attempts on an almost weekly basis to keep me that way is uh, the guy that I work out with my trainer. And I've talked about him many times. And uh, we used to have Galen on our show. And then Galen, we kicked to the curb because, <laughs> not in a mean way, but Galen's going to be moving to uh, my new morning show over on Fox uh, that's debuting on September 14th. So to replace him to talk fitness and exercise because hello, we all want to lose a few pounds, and there's no better person than my dear friend Chad, who is making his debut today. Everyone at the fair, give a nice round of applause to Chad. He's joining us on the uh, the phone here. Hello, Chad. Hello. How are you, Chadley? I'm great. I've got my green tea and my reclining swivel chair, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> See, you're wow. already too healthy, Chad. Are you, can't you have some fried food sitting in front of you, really? I mean, you're. We're, we're, it's a fair show, and you're drinking healthy crap. Yeah, I got to do it, at least on the weekdays. Yeah. See, this is what I love. What you don't know about trainers, and this is what I love about Chad. So when we'll go to work out, I'll, 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 I'll have a little bit of shame, like if I went to Applebee's or something and pegged out on some pork ribs or something. So well, that next day, I'll have, like, little kid guilt. I, I feel like a little kid that, like, you know, broke a rule or, you know, snuck out of the house. So, but what's funny is Chad has no problem admitting that he'll cheat too, which you got to love that in a trainer. Cause I'll be like, Chad, I ate a pizza and he'll be like, well, I had two beers. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> we can continue. And pizza. Yeah. Uh, so two things, Chad, we wanted to introduce you uh, uh, here on the show because you're going to be joining us uh, talking about fitness and, and, and how to lose a few pounds. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is uh, I, I want to tell the story. And this is probably my favorite story of, of Chad. And we've all had those embarrassing moments. And one of my most embarrassing moments happened with Chad. And, uh, and, and it was like this. It was one of the first times I worked out with Chad. And uh, we, we work out in my little uh, uh, entryway. And my front door is all glass, basically. And I live in a... Chad knows what story I'm telling. <laughs> so, uh, and I, have, I live in a townhouse development. So I'm surrounded by neighbors. So mind you, ladies and gentlemen, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. And Chad has this thing called, what is those straps called, Chad? TR something, the, Knight Rider, what are the TRX, right? Jason, the TRX suspension trainer. Oh, whatever. Anyway, so there's straps. And uh, so <laughs> oh, you, no. you, you pull yourself up and so you can work your own body weight. And I hate him. Every time he pulls them out, I just I, I start calling him names and I'm miserable. So uh, so Chad has me, and, and let, me, let me try to paint a radio picture. I'm on the floor with my legs in these straps. And I look like it's... In a, front it, of a glass window. Yeah, and it looks like a medieval torture device, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And I'm, I'm my butt's in the air and I'm, my, oh. I, 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 you know, and I'm sitting here in these straps and it's to work your glutes, you know? So I'm in the air and all of a sudden Chad is facing the window, okay? <laughs> and I'm facing the wall. And I'm in the straps and this is what I hear Chad say. Mind you, at 6 o'clock in the morning, Chad goes, Jason, there's someone at your door. <laughs> And I, I, my legs are in these straps, and I go to flip over, and then I'm like on my back like a little gay turtle, and I'm like I can't get up, I can't, can't get back on the other side, and it's my neighbor, it's my little neighbor, who uh, was petrified of mice, and she had a mouse in her house, so she, who did she come to? Me. What? Out of all her neighbors, out of all her neighbors, she comes to my like, house. I can scream and run away with it, well, from it she, with you. She's a lovely woman. I love her to death, but it's so funny. Out of the plethora of neighbors she has, 
she picks the biggest wimp in the development to get her mouse. So I well, Chad was there. Well, Chad was there, but Chad is Chad barely knew me, <laughs> let alone the woman with the mouse in the trap. So I then, did offer, though. I did offer. You did offer, Chad. That's how nice. Chad is a full service trader. He will, <laughs> he will remove mice from your house, and he will also get your butt down. So there we go. You're just like, no, I can't help you. I'm busy. Yeah. So no, uh, didn't I, Chad? I walked over there at 6:30 in my little workout gear, and the mouse. I felt so bad for because we all, some of us are afraid of mice. I don't like mice either. But it was one. She had one of those sticky mouse traps, so the mouse was alive and was like flipping around the floor. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, is this really happening? Is this? Re I'm in my workout gear. I have the medieval torture device. My neighbor has a mouse flipping around <laughs> on her floor. So I got rid of the mouse for, her, and then I continued the training. So that whenever I think of Chad, that's the story I think of. Uh, wow. But Chad, we're gonna. Uh, we just have one question because uh, usually we'll take calls and stuff when we do a normal segment with you. But since we're at a fair, we have a fair-related question, okay, Chad? Perfect. Now, yeah, so we're all out here, and let's be realistic, Chad. We're all going to eat. I'm looking at a beautiful audience here, and every one of those people, when they leave this mediocre radio show, they are going to go, and they're going to fill their faces with corn dogs and cheese curds. Let me just ask you this, Chad. How many times would we have to walk around the fair to work off a thing of cheese curds? <laughs> wow. Um, well, assuming that... Uh, yeah. You are walking at a, a moderate to high intensity. I knew you were going to say that. Um, you could probably walk those off in 30 minutes or less. What? Provided what? you had about three cheese curds. Oh. Did you oh. Ha see? You had us. You should have seen the audience. My oh. my posture changed when you said 30 minutes. I'm like, I can do that. <laughs> But then oh. and the audience, I saw a couple women's faces go, really? <laughs> and then you said the three cheese curds. Three. But, you know, we did hear that advice, and Alexis and I, were, we had a little light bulb moment. Chad, don't you think, and all, all kidding aside, don't you think a good strategy, if you're going to come out here and you're going to eat, is to share? I mean, you know, don't withhold, but maybe a good strategy is to share food with your friends, right? I, you know, in, in, in my case, when I come out there, and I love the cheese curds. See, um, if, I knew it, trainer person. If I get the double order, but he only eats three. If I get the double order, it's just a little too much on the tummy for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so I've found uh, over the years that I have to scale back, and so the wife and I will share. Maybe I'll get the four-year-old in there, throw him a couple. Nice. Um, but yeah, just and, and that's how I'm visiting Dairy Queen these days too. I mean, if I do, it's uh, I'm just going to share it with them. See, you gotta love a trainer that admits he goes to the DQ. Uh, mm -hmm. See, and that actually does make me feel better. But yeah, but so if you share it, it, it's not that bad. And then if you, when you leave the fair, and then you work out, right, Chad? Because that's what I've been doing. You don't know that, but I haven't been cutting back. But uh, I'm just kidding. I've been cutting back, but I have been <laughs> running a little bit extra. So if you're right. gonna come out here, don't you think another thing you can do is just up your workouts a little bit? You, can, you know, as much as I, I want to say it, it could be an all or nothing proposition, it really isn't. And unfortunately, there are weeks <laughs> where I'm gonna you. slip on the weekend, and I'm gonna break even for the week. Wow. I'm going to break mm. even for the week. So sometimes it's going to take another week or two of clean days, clean eating, to be able to get back to where I was prior to the binge weekend. So we shouldn't, if you just join us, we're talking about mm. how in the world can we stay relatively healthy during the fair. So we shouldn't feel that much guilt if we let it loose a little bit, right, Chad? Correct. But just make up for it the next week. Just You're going to have to just get back on the horse again. And I have a feeling you're going to make me do that next week. <laughs> One yes. day at a time. Yes. I think you should take those straps out again, okay, yeah, Chad? I, I hate that thing. And do it outside. You've got to get the glass window. Google the TRX. You've got to see this thing. It, it's been used at the Renaissance Festival. It's like a mid... Yeah, it's like... It's horrible. It's, I hate it more than anything. You know, how graceful is Jason on these straps, Chad? <laughs> Don't you ask him questions like that, Kiki. <laughs> You know what's interesting? How long did it take you. to get him strapped in? I was just going to say, well, th your hesitation is he kind of making me mad here, Chad. It's interesting. You know what, we, I'm, you know what interesting means, right? I'm pretty graceful, right, Chad? <laughs> oh, I thought you said grateful. I'm no, sorry. Oh, yeah. Graceful. Graceful? Yeah. You know, he does pretty well in the grace category. <laughs> and I'm always in a good mood Flipping that around, early in the morning, right, legs Chad? Legs up in the air. Well, you know, lately, though, lately now, you're really enjoying the, the phase of training you're in. Yes, mm. I'm in a much right better mood now. Usually, I call him, like, Satan, and I just, you know, <laughs> Lucifer. I call him all sorts of names, but uh, I've been in a really good mood lately, so, yeah. Oh, that's good. We're going to put, uh, if you want to get a hold of Chad and uh, ask him questions or, or, or sign up for a session with them, we're going to put Chad's info on our website. We've made it really easy, and he really is, just like Galen. Chad's the nicest guy in the world, and he knows what he's talking about. He reads more 
more books on fitness than than elementary school kids kids color. I mean, Chad reads more about fitness than kids color. So if you have a question, we're going to put his info on our website on our show page at fm1071.com. His company is called HomeFitRx. Chad, thank you, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you 